Nicole Krug. I am the digital strategist at Socialite. And I'm Monica Jansen. I am head kick-ass copywriter and strategist at Jansen Communications. And today we are here to offer up five ways you can leverage influencers on social media. Now, most of the time, influence, when you think of influencers for a company is a sponsored relationship. You know, mm -hmm. they're always wearing your logos yep. and, and all of that. Mm -hmm. um, and if you've got the funds for doing that, great, go for it. Um, but maybe you don't. And so maybe you start out with a minor affiliate program. Program, meaning mm -hmm. that um, for somebody that's um, popular on Instagram, maybe you are a snowboarding company, right? Mm -hmm. And so for the guy that is a snowboarder, who she can name and I cannot, <laughs> uh, <laughs> you give him a link for your wicking t-shirt, right? Yes. Or whatever. And so anytime that he, he shares that and the more sales that come from that, he gets a percentage of them, but he has to actually work for it. Okay. So he would be Travis Rice. Um, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> number one. No, but, but this is, this is a great way to leverage influencers without paying a lot of money out of pocket mm -hmm. because influencers do tend, unless they're brand new, um, they need some monetary compensation. Mm -hmm. So there are actually other ways that you can use influencers without paying them. Let's say somebody mm -hmm. really loves your brand and gave a review, um, or just Travis somebody. Rice. Rice happened to wear your t-shirt with the logo and have it put in, in an Instagram. Good news, you can actually promote that post on Instagram. Mm -hmm. So it's his post, yep. wearing your awesome thing, yep. um, that you can share that out and you can still get leverage out of it. Yep, absolutely. And you're gonna get on his radar and start developing a relationship too. Which actually leads right into number three, which is tag your influencers. Mm -hmm. Let's say in this video, we gave a hat tip to Travis Rice. And we say, thanks for being our inspiration. <laughs> and we put it in the comment. Uh, he might ignore us, but he might laugh and you know come back and respond or share it out. And then yeah. we're growing our audience that way. Just be careful <laughs> with the hat tipping, right? Um, Travis Rice is famous in the snowboarding community, but probably not outside that. Whereas Oprah Winfrey, everyone knows her. Do not hat tip Oprah Winfrey and expect for her to see that respond to it for you to get like a boost um, mm -hmm. for your brand. You, you can give Oprah a shout out, but you're not gonna get much out of it, right? No. If you want like look more for a local influencer mm -hmm. that can help. Yeah. Okay, number four, copy the hashtags of an influencer in mm -hmm. your market, right? Just mm -hmm. even if they're not going to help you or whatever, they if they are getting a good social media reach, they've put some work into finding the hashtags that work. So copy yeah. them, leverage them, see yeah. what they're doing. Yeah, again, this is how you start building a relationship with an influencer. Show them that that you are engaged with their brand. You're interested in what they're doing. Mm -hmm. But you know what? Even if they you don't end up talking to them, just you steal their hashtags. It'll help. And last but not least, you can go through there because some of the things, one of the big things about social media is building the right audience, oh, yeah. right? Oh yeah. And so if you find an influencer that's in your market, um, but maybe not a local, you can follow their followers, right? Mm -hmm. Following is, you know, it's back to a basic social media, follow somebody and they'll follow you back. This uh, is very true on Instagram and Twitter, not so much on Facebook or LinkedIn. Mm -hmm. But you know, you see where it is and you start developing relationships with those markets and those yep. people who might be more likely to come become customers. So get creative um, and have fun with influencers. Thanks so much for watching. If this was helpful, <laughs> please share and give us a hat tip. We'd love it and we will respond. <laughs> yes, we will, promise. <laughs> Thanks, bye-bye.